We're going to do it clean. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Operation Sports channel. We are doing a live breakdown of the Diamond Dynasty live stream that went on today. You see behind me, we've got Lance Lee. It's Lance Steven and Nick. Uh, Lance Tips and Nick Livingston. You guys know that. Nick's the one with the beard. So let's get right into the start here. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is... We're here. Also Brandon. These are all the things they get into in this event. You see events, seasons, programs, missions 2.0. You're going to see legends and flashbacks littered through here. When it comes to surprises, the only real surprise was they showed the Griffey on screen. So we will see that towards the end. Programs, also brand new. All right. The first thing we get here is the new way to create your uh, Diamond Dynasty team. You are forced to have colors now. No more just complete white teams. Um, you still have to do logos. It doesn't look like you can do team jerseys. That was one of the spec pieces of speculation before. Not true. You absolutely have to continue uh, building your own jerseys. Yes, and by the way, just in case anyone's wondering, I want that polo that Nick Livingston's wearing. Um, let's keep moving. Uh, that's their giveaway. They did a giveaway in stream today. Continue on with, let's see, come on, right there. So this, we uh, had a lot of speculation on this. This is the new way to start your Diamond Dynasty team. You no longer just get packs to start it off. You will get a five card and one stadium draft, much like Battle Royale. You see here, uh, it. they said it will be the same every time. You will get second base, shortstop, and catcher. You'll get uh, corner infielder, then outfielder, then starting pitcher, relief pitcher, and a stadium. You will get different cards. My speculation, they're going to be bronzes. I don't think you have any chance of maybe a 1% chance of getting a silver, but I think these are all going to be bronze because they're starters and because everybody else gets them. So let's, I think we're pretty much, you're going to see your bronze first five guys. This is not the starter packs that you've been seeing with the uh, pre-orders, guys. This is not that diamond starter pack, gold starter pack. Those are specific packs with your pre-orders, guys. Uh, so let's keep going here. Um, they, they show a couple of these guys off. Nothing really great. Although they will show with this Adon Adonis Garcia, you'll see a change on the screen. This is the new player card we talked about before. We've seen this a couple times. You see the attributes for Adonis Garcia. You see the secondary positions, but you see them tabbing now. They went to the inside edge, which you'll be able to see on the player card. Um, all of the inside edge data is going to be on the player card now as well. Um, what else is going to be on the player card? They're bringing back stats. You see all of the player stats right here, front and center on your player card. I thought that was going to be it. I really did. I thought, you know what? Stats back on the card. I'm completely fine with that. That's that's what I wanted to see. Let's move on to the next feature. But then they decided, you know what? We're not done. Let's break out the real thing. Now, anybody that's gone on the shownation.com or daddyleagues.com has seen this graph. This graph is nothing short of amazing. It is the marketplace trends. For those of you that like to flip cards or like to work the marketplace, instead of having to go back and forth between a website and this, you get all of that information clearly right here over the last what looks like, uh, I'm going to say 30 days, but maybe that extends out. It doesn't look like you can set that. And you get that player card from anywhere. You can look at a player card on the market and get this same data. That is very, very cool. Uh, a great addition. I didn't ask for it personally. Um, I know some people did. So again, very happy that the devs are listening to us. Very cool. Uh, let's keep going here, boys. Next up, they just kept going with a lot of the new starts, player cards, new market prices. Uh, let's see here. They finished up, again, outfielder, starting pitcher, and then you get to pick, a, they give you a stadium. So, that's where you start there. Obviously, the new intro to the Diamond Dynasty screen, right there. We've seen that before. 
What's cool here, though, is you see them go into the marketplace. So sets is new. You see that where it says sets legend right here? Um, completely new. You can set it to legend, flashback, all that different stuff for specific sets. The series tabs, they're always updating that. We saw that last time. Keep moving on. This is their first flashback they're showing off. You see, this is the 93 Hanley Ramirez. Uh, but they also showed a 70 overall rookie Xander Bogarts. They will get into what all of these little icons mean. They showed them all today. We had a couple of uh, speculations on what a little, some of them meant. They gave us all the explanations today. Let's see what the Xander Bogarts is real quick for you Red Sox fans that can't wait to see this. All right, here you go. Rookie Xander Bogarts from 2014. You can see for early on, not a bad card. Good against lefties. Pretty good defense for early on. Vision, not great. Uh, 66 speed is just okay. And he does have the third base secondary. So, again, not a terrible card for early on, but probably not something you hold on to for very long. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, they did go into two, to two uh, streams today. They actually cut out and came back on. There we go. You Toronto Blue Jays fans must be extremely ecstatic for this card. <laughs> anyway, you're probably going to get a Blue Jay Alomar, but this is the 1986 rookie San Diego Padre Roberto Alomar. The contact and power, okay. Um, 82 vision is a huge plus for this card. 80 clutch, 95 bunt. They did not show us bunting in the stream today. I'm going to say because they didn't show us much gameplay at all. It was very, very quick, and it was just because they wanted to show us uh, a couple of the legends in gameplay. 95 bunt, 90 drag bunt. Hopefully that will mean something this year. I want to I wanna have guys that have bunt ratings that mean something, not that everyone can bunt. 87 fielding, 81 arm strength, 84 arm accuracy, 80 reaction, 87 speed. This guy is going to be an absolute monster on the base paths. A very good card. Obviously a gold, but if you can get your hands on it early. And we saw in events, although that might change, you may have the opportunity to get that early. So let's keep moving on here, guys. They showed off, let's see here, the Alomar. We showed the veteran. Oh, wait, I don't want to miss that. Hold on, let's show you guys, because this is a new card they just brought up. The Robbie, and then right immediately after that, right? There he is. One of my favorite non-Orioles of all time, Wade Boggs. This is 1990, I believe that's eight, Wade Boggs, right before he retired. The V you see on his card art, they're calling them Impact Veterans. So, veterans that had an immediate impact on the team they played for. This one, obviously, for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, before they were the Rays. 77 contact versus righty, 92 vision. I mean, we all know Wade Boggs could do whatever you wanted him to do with a bat. This proves it. 92 vision. I'd like the fielding a little better, but he. But I started thinking about that during the stream. Why is Wade Boggs like mid 70s fielding? And then I said to myself, you know, he really did have some problems late in his career moving around. So I I'm actually happy that they took into account that while Boggs was a pretty good fielder in his day. Towards the end, he wasn't. Um, and you see that age 40. But again, I think this is a good card for that 92 vision. You're going to extend at bats, um, especially against righties. You're going to be able to contact, get, and especially with the new ball physics. Always remember the new ball physics, guys. Contact and vision might be the meta this year. We don't know yet. Start thinking now about what the meta is with that new ball physics. So let's keep going here. We'll keep moving that along. We see the Wade Boggs. They, they introduce some more. And here's where we see the new sets and series. So the new Legend set has a, has a new logo. Obviously the new Legend logo and the Flashback logo. But what's really cool here is the new series. Um, rookie is the green. Breakout is a younger player who had a big year as a younger player, maybe not necessarily a rookie, you will see a breakout legend on this stream and if you go back and watch the uh, Twitch archive. Impact Veteran, we just talked about with Wade Boggs. All-Star, which is an all-star uh, season where the guy actually made the all-star team. 
postseason, which is a, uh, much like the Carlos Beltran we saw this year, a postseason standout. You will see uh, one of those this year as well. And hardware. Now, hardware could mean anything. MVP, Silver Slugger, Gold Glove. It could mean anything, and I'm glad they left that open. They're saying that hardware will be some of the best cards in the game. I'm glad they're not specifying, like, it had to be an MVP year. I'd like to see some Gold Glovers in there, maybe. Maybe guys that didn't have the greatest years with the bats, but are 99 across the board feeling. It would be so awesome. So let's keep moving on. That's them just discussing that real quick. Um, there's that Wade Boggs again. This is the new head-to-head -head single player battle royale and events. We've seen this screen before. Um, we did not get any extra detail on conquest mode. We got no extra detail on battle royale other than it's there. So we will keep moving it. I think they go into events next, which should be. Um, one thing they will say here. So you notice that the ranked seasons is different than we last saw it. Um, they're saying that ranked seasons, when you play through it, there's going to be two types of leaderboards, and you'll see that real quick. There's going to be the current season leaderboard, and there's going to be a lifetime leaderboard. They specifically called out some people that sat on top of the leaderboards, got up to a high ranking, and then stopped playing um, to where the ra their rating point. What they're doing here is if you have a lifetime rating, your lifetime rating will be cumulative for all of the seasons, and then each season you have to go on. We did, there, the question came up in the chat, and I see it in my chat right now. Do you think that rewards stack for the rewards? Let's get into the rewards real quick and see what they had for us. Um, moving on. All right, so this is the new reward screen. They're going to have some of this stuff obviously questioned out. Um, you see for Pennant Race... It was the rookie Cl Kershaw. For World Series, it's the hardware Andre Dawson. I don't know if rewards stack, if they're cumulative. Like, if you get all the way up to here to World Series, do you get all of this? Um, when they talked about it, they said, well, if you win the pennant race, you'll have that Clayton Kershaw. They didn't answer that. The, chat, the question did come up in chat. I'm not sure if they saw it. Secondly, if you reach one of these tiers... You can continue to play because all you have to do is reach the tier. Like, if you get the championship series and then you lose some games and get back to division series, you get the championship series rewards. Remember that. You do not have to stop playing just because you got to a certain level. They want to encourage you guys to keep playing. That's awesome. I'm glad to see that. I don't want to ever get punished for playing. And since this is going to be probably my primary mode if when I play Diamond Dynasty, I'm so happy to see them doing that. Keep it moving here. Um, I am muting them a little bit here because there was a really bad mic pop during the stream, and I don't want to get you guys uh, subject you guys to that. So here's that lead leaderboard screen we're talking about. Current season and lifetime. Uh, this is the current season, the one that ends on May 15th. This is the lifetime over the entire time of your player. Again, they specifically called out people that played, got up to like the World Series bracket, and then just stopped playing until they had to. This is going to encourage you to continue to play. So let us, uh, again, we see those rewards over there. Uh, you, it says unranked and play with friends. You can play both of them. Has no rating impact. They did not mention whether unranked or friendlies would affect missions. That was not mentioned in the stream. Another question I'd like to see answered at some point. Um, this is going to be a little gameplay here, guys. You see Lance getting the sticks ready. There is the new... New and improved. We already saw this once, but the new large in charge 1997 MVP hardware Ken Griffey Jr. You're going to see that in action, and then you're going to see the ratings at the end of the stream. And there's some questions on the ratings, guys. There's some definite questions on the ratings for it. So, um, and, I, and I'll explain it to you as we go along. So, I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to pipe this up a little bit here. I'm actually going to let this gameplay go. You see that card art in the game for when you start your game uh, with their inside edge boost? Not a great day for Jake Arietta. Well, we'll see. 
who's stepping up to the plate? Wham! Woo! There's that Making pop. Sure everybody can see that car just to make sure they know. So again, and their 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 video quality wasn't great. They tried to fix it a couple times. Um, again, this is something they do for us, so I'm not going to complain about audio popping or anything else. So yeah, this is that new batting stance for Ken Griffey. Looks gorgeous. No problem. Very nice. I mean, very, very nice. Um, and then you're going to see a couple guys scoot through here. Uh, this is the 93 Hanley. The 93 Hanley, which looks like a beast card. Impact veteran 93 Hanley. You'll see those card ratings in a few minutes here. Get a look in here. We got uh, one more little surprise after here. Guy, you know a little something about. Oh, yeah. Let him uh, swing a little bit. Impact veteran flashback. These are some of the best hitting attributes when we show this car that I think we've ever seen in the game for a flashback. Of course, there are Ted Williams legends, those kind of guys. But as far as flashbacks go, this... You see, you hear Tips talking about it. That's Tips in the middle talking just how good of a hitter this Hanley is. So Griffey with that 80 speed on second base. Didn't want to try it. I don't blame you. You know, there's there's no need to try it when you have a guy like this stepping up to the plate. And here you go. This is the Giancarlo Stanton, or Giancarlo Stanton. I always say it wrong. Someone got me on Yenis last video. Yenis instead of Yoannis. So this is Stan. This is one of this is from a flashback. This is the yeah All Star 2014 flashback Stanton. You'll see the stats for this guy. 96 power for his righties. 97 power versus lefties is a monster. You hear Tips talking about it right now. And then you see that that's this is where the actual stream cut out. Luckily, luckily, we are all ready to go with this. So we pop this bad boy on here. Quality does get a little better at this point, which is nice. I agree. I see somebody in the chat mentioned that. Uh, Mentioned that the swing on Stanton looks a little more compact. I like that. Something's off about it. It feels off about his swing. I could be wrong. I just feel like something's off. It might be the camera, too. This is obviously the fisheye camera that they're using. And then there's Rizzo. Um, I think they end up trying to hit here. I'm going to let him finish his bat. We didn't get much gameplay this stream, so I wanted to go ahead and show that. Nice little change up. See, we're very early according to our feedback there. It's an 80 feedback. Mile per hour and a 57 mile per hour <laughs> hit speed off the bat. Area to got away with that one. Yeah, I think the white overlay, I agree. The white overlay they're doing looks really nice. Um, they did listen to a bunch of the fans. You'll notice the white overlay, which is covered up right now, used to have the Show 17 logo, and now it doesn't. Um, Adam from SDS confirmed on the OS forums that they took that off because of of our feedback so very good all very good to all of us on that um they're just showing the conquest screen showing yes it is there play versus cpu extra innings all under single player extra innings brought a little more to the forefront because people that, there were people that didn't know extra innings was in last year so um before we get that Brought back to the forefront, so let's get into... Okay, so this is events. You see what we saw before, Wild the Wild West? Some of the things they confirmed for events. Events are not... We, we were concerned about that 60 wins cumulative for the Robbie Alomar. That was actually Rizzo last time, and now it's Robbie Alomar. They're stating that it, they're not going to be monthly events. Like, they're going to be a week or two. And to accommodate that... Not all of the games are going to be nine inning games for events. You're going to have three inning games. You're going to have six inning games. You're going to have nine inning games. And the rewards will scale to that. They said this first one, this Wild West, that will be up when the game starts, will be a three inning challenge. Uh, so all of the games will be three innings. Hence why 60 wins wouldn't be out of the realm. And then a 12 win streak would be almost like winning a battle royale. But... For this, you have to build your own team. This is not a drafted team. So let's keep moving. We'll show you guys. Okay, so this is welcome to the event. This is your lineup selection screen for events. It automatically filters players that can be on your team. Thank you so much. That it, I hope we can get that in the regular player selection. Like we can create our own filters. But for events, 
being able to only select the players in our inventory, that that's so clutch and so awesome. The other thing you want to notice is up in that top right corner, your team overall exceeds the event restrictions. That cap that was rumored that was talked about is in this event. You have to bring your team down to an 87 overall. And as Tips mentioned in the arc or in the uh, stream, you can't just roll out with Kershaw and Trout and Griffey and everybody else. Um, just so you know, flashbacks for this specific event, flashbacks are included in West Coast teams because you'll see the Griffey on there too. So let's keep moving here. Um, it's just, this is just them picking players. I try to keep an eye on this to make sure we weren't missing any new flashbacks. Um, the ones that were shown were also shown later in the stream, so we will get to them as they come up. You see there the 93 Hanley. Um, I think they showed a third baseman. Hold on, I'll show you the third baseman because he will be... He will be there in a second. Okay, so there's the Pablo Sandoval, 93 postseason, and the 88 All-Star Josh Donaldson. Again, you will see those complete ratings later in the stream. Nothing on that side. We're good to go. Let's keep moving. They didn't mention anything about multiple... They didn't mention anything about multiple lineups. Well, Aqua, the other problem you're going to have with this event, and I heard this, but I have not confirmed it yet, is that your bullpen will carry over. Your bullpen stamina will carry over in these events. Uh, Aqua in the chat mentioned you can. You just put five 40, 47 overall relievers in your pen. Well, that's a good thought, but your stamina for your relievers, uh, from what I've heard, because I asked this question privately, um, that's not confirmed. They said probably your bullpen is locked into an event. Until you create a new team, you can't change your team during an event. You have to get two losses and get kicked out first, which they'll go into here in a second. So your bullpen, if you want to do that, if you want to create five over, uh, 47 overall relievers, put them in your bullpen, that's fine. But don't use your bullpen. <laughs> You're going to have to find some way to get around that. Yeah, you might be able to go bronzes. So, All right, so let's keep going. There's that Griffey card art again. Um, they're rookie Griffey as well. And there's the whole team. They saw they showed the Padres Alomar again. So you see him trying to get down here. He, what he's doing is he's lowering his thing. And you see, congratulations, your team meets the event restriction. The other thing I'd like to see, again, speculation. Um, I would like to see them do, like, specific squad attributes. Like, you can only have a 75 overall contact, even though you have an 87 overall team. Maybe. I don't know if that's possible. I'd like to see something like that keep it moving this is the reward screen you see how the entry rewards works a lot like battle royale you get two losses and then you can re-enter event i did not see a buy-in i think events because you do your own team um you build your own team i'm pretty sure there is no buy-in for events you get two losses you're eliminated with however many wins you have you see that you rack up wins in a single entry to acquire unique event rewards it looks like 12 wins is the max for that reward and they go in sets of three um also cumulative reward progress all the way on the side over there you see the bronze the silver the gold and the diamond it looks like as you get cumulative wins you will get better rewards so two ways you don't have to just win them all yeah so i i agree aqua says in the chat i'll be playing more events than br this year if i can help it i'm not going to touch br i'm not a three inning guy granted events might go three innings that's fine but i would really hope that we don't have to do that play as many nine inning games as i can personal preference i get where the uh where the shorter games are better keep moving here they're just talking about the rewards uh i wanted to pause that oh easy i want to pause that screen real quick because i think it's just players they've already shown but i wanted to make sure Get them in this screen. Let's just double check here. Andrew Miller, yeah, this is all players they showed. I didn't get a chance to see it on the stream, but it's nice to be able to slow it down a little bit. Uh, let's keep going here. This is They're going to filter through here and show a couple more of those flashbacks. Uh, I believe the first one we're going to see here is going to be the Johnny Damon that they showed off during the last video in left field. Um, Johnny Damon looks pretty badass. If you want to talk about an 88 gold, 
Uh, 88 gold, here we go with his ratings. 94 contact versus righties. 88 contact or power versus righties. 92 vision is going to take away a lot of that contact versus lefty problem at 70. Um, 84 discipline, 96 clutch. The bunting isn't as good, so that's I'm happy with that. 95 durability, 70 fielding, and then you see it. That noodle arm dough. Uh, 45 arm strength. We all know Johnny D Damon couldn't throw the ball. You know, he couldn't break down a paper bag with the baseball from two feet if he had to. Um, but 77 speed, 73 stealing, and uh, 74 reaction will make him a decent fielder for you. Uh, above average, again, he is a left fielder, I believe, in this one. Yeah. No, he's a center fielder in this card. I don't know he can play center field for you if you want to use that arm, though. So let's keep going here. Let's see who else they showed. They showed a couple. Uh, okay, this is the rookie Cinder Guard. Let's show the ratings for him real quick. You see that 77 hits over 9, 85K over 9, 80 BB over 9, 45 home run over 9, which we still do not know whether it's going to affect in game play this year. Uh, we're hoping it does. I don't know that a lot of us are optimistic, but for the time being, that 45 home run over 9, as far as we know, will not affect the Cinder Guard. 99 velo. Um, you're throwing a four seam fastball. Tips and Lance both said they saw it hit over 100 miles an hour when they were playing around with it. Sinker, slider, circle change, and curveball. Great pitch mix there. Um, the 99 velocity is huge. So let's keep moving on. I think they kept going. Oh, the Giancarlo Stanton. This card is a monster if you can use the PCI, guys. Uh, 67 contact versus righties, but 98, 96, 97 in contacts versus lefties, power and versus righties and lefties, 32 vision. So you better be real good with that PCI um, if you want to use this one. 80 clutch, 83 fielding. He's a sleeper in the field. Um, Stanton doesn't get the doesn't get the props he deserves for what he can do in the field. 78 arm strength, 58 speed, 63 stealing. He can play on my team. I mean, a 93 diamond, he can play on my team early, easily. So um, he's going to be a monster and really hard to get out. Again, the key here is, though, how much of a how much of the meta is going to be vision and contact this year. Because with new ball physics, again, what of that is going to go into hitting, with pa hitting for power and hitting for contact? If you need some of that, you might do a lot of dribbling ground balls with Giancarlo Stanton if you are not good enough. Let's keep this bad boy moving. You see missions here. They are franchise missions. They're going to get into that on a later stream. Um, but they're going to go into Diamond Dynasty missions. You see here some of the mission categories. Starter missions, obviously, for when we just start off. Collection missions, like last year, collecting either um, teams or specific types of players. They'll show that. Time limited. You will have a very specific time to do a very specific task. We'll get into that in a few minutes here too. An exchange. You guys called it. The guys that called it like the recycler. It has a lot of the recycler in it um, from MLB The Show 14. You can put in like five specific cleats and get a gold cleat out of it. Uh, that's probably what this exchange is going to be the whole year. Put in very specific cards. Get an upgraded version of them afterwards. Uh, let's move on. So they're going to show us some of these missions here. Um, again, so this is, there's a Griffey mission. You see the Ken Griffey Jr. collection very early. Kind of cool because it's unique to Griffey. It says you have to collect Ken Griffey Jr. specific equipment items. Um, it shows you the four. Now, what's really awesome is what you're about to see. Collection missions have always been kind of a pain. Because you know what? You, you got to collect, what, 20 guys? You don't know what 20 guys you need. You got to collect four pieces of equipment. You don't know what pieces of equipment you need. You got to go back and forth. I got to go into the mission screen. I go to the marketplace. I got to go back. I got to find out how much it's worth. But then I got to go back and say, well, maybe I don't want to pay that much. Well, how much should I have to pay? Guess what? This is the new collection screen. Three checked off. The fourth one empty. All you have to go is right on to that cleat. And they're going to show that there in a second. And you can go select it, click on it, view in marketplace for all collection missions now. Again, you see me do a lot. Thank you. Thank you. 
because you can buy it directly from the market right then and there. You don't have to worry about going back and forth between screens. It's so annoying to have to do that during Diamond Dynasty. You see this, and then they're going to back out of this, go right back to the collection. You see that? They're going to finish the collection four out of four. Are you sure? Yes. Mission is advanced. You do a little, little bounce and lock over here. And go ahead, hit the lock for me, Lance. Come on, hit the lock for me, Lance. Unlock it, Lance. Thank you. Redeemed. You see this? He gets and opens it up, shows everything very clearly on stream. Again, very nice that it shows everything right in front of you instead of just, hey, this is kind of what you got. You get a standard pack. These, I think, are placeholder numbers, obviously. So if you get 25,000 for something, who knows? Uh, let's keep moving here. Again, five bronze lefty starters. You do see that the new missions are 15 instead of 25. Um, that's interesting. I wonder what the rewards for those are going to be. And since those are silver, I wonder if you're going to have to do silver, gold level, and a diamond level this year. Um, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on that with these missions. Uh, see what we have going on. All right, so next up is time limited missions. They kind of gave away one here. Uh, you see, there's 48 hours within the first 48 hours. You have to capture a mariner's territory, not the stronghold, just any mariner's territory, which means you have to get out to the mariners. Um, it's easy, a 24 hour one for hit for the cycle. Uh, again, you're going to see this for you guys that are offline. You're like, oh, I don't want to have to hit for a cycle against another user. That's terrible. Well, guess what? This one's versus the CPU. Um, they said flat out there is going to be more single player missions this year. I know a lot of people that play Diamond Dynasty want to play the game completely online. And I understand that. But this is nice to see for single player people that don't want to play online that still want to get involved in the mode. Um, so hit for the cycle versus the CPU. The other thing you see up there is Jackie Robinson Day. Pretty obvious that that's going to happen, you know, when Jackie Robinson Day is. You'll have to do something. It looks like a conquer mission. So we'll have to see what that is. But also on that side over there, you see him. They didn't get into his stats, but you see him. 90 overall, breakout star, Luis Aparicio. Guys, I cannot tell you how absolutely in love I am with the fact that they're going back further with some of these legends. And they're doing year-specific ones. So, very cool. So, those are for specific missions. Um, and again, this is what they mean by dynamic. These missions are going to change. You heard tips say it last stream the last word he was used was dynamic it was a tease and that's what these missions are continuously changing continuously updating you don't get bored doing the same mission all the time there are programs that go for that but these missions are continuously moving i, I love that i love the idea of that all right you see the exchange right here we talked about it with a quote-unquote recycler um a cleats upgrade you put five silver cleats and you move it into a gold cleat, plus you get some XP, some stubs, and some tickets. Tickets! Tickets! Not captain's tickets. We'll talk about that in a second too, guys. So you see them. Again, same thing. You can go into here and multi-pick all of the ones you want to put in there. And you can search for them too. So if you want to buy some silver cleats to put into this, you can do that too. This should also keep the value up. Of some of these silver equipment. Now I know there's always one or two pieces of equipment that has a large value to it, but all the other ones kind of go by the wayside. This should keep some of the value of the equipment up for you guys too. Um, very cool that you can easily find those numbers now. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know whether they were they're supposed to show this or not, but let's look at it one more time. So they have not. Okay, so Scooby in chat says no more missions with friends. They have not said that directly. Scooby, that is my thought. That is my speculation that you won't be able to do missions with friends anymore because of the amount of uh, exploits they had last year. Most of the exploits last year, and I say most, were done with two people in a in one in a one game. You know where they would AFK or whatever. This year, my speculation is you're not going to be able to do that against friends. Hence why they're unranked. Um, but again, you see one big new thing over here. The new balance ones we already knew about right behind my head. But over here, confirmed, 
Uh, I think these are the Ada Zero 3.0s, guys. Am I am I correct on that? Um, let's see what they select here. It doesn't show the name when they select them, unfortunately. It may when they when they put them in. Let's see what they what the exchange is here. They pop it on. Yeah, it doesn't say exactly what they are, unfortunately. I think those are the Ada Zero uh, 3.0s. What do they say? Okay, hold on. There it is. There they are. Heist, Heist IQ, the 4040 V3s, the Alpha Airs, the UA Heaters, and... Oh, no, those are the, those are the Power Alley 5s. Okay, you're right. Those aren't the Ada Zeros. Those are the Power Alley 5s. I was correct. I was incorrect on that. But Adidas in the stream confirmed... And you get, obviously, a gold pair back. Um, I'm going to guess the gold pair is, is random. You don't know which gold pair you're going to get. So, all right. So, we have the exchanger. There are, if you notice, also, please turn your attention to that selection screen. Right there. On the right-hand side, there's another arrow. They did say there's more missions that way. They did not show them. They kept that secret. So, um, there will be more mission tabs. All right, programs are next. Uh, you see here the diamond program that ends in the Griffey. This does end in the Griffey 99. They did say it's going to be a grind to get to it. Um, you see the rookie program with the little rookie, the green R on it, and a rookie for a mystery legend. Again, arrow to the left. There's more. We don't know what they are. So we'll let this play out a little bit here. Okay, this is the Diamond Griffey mission. You see at 10%, you get a standard pack and some stubs and some tickets. At 20%, you get older Griffey in the outfield. Uh, Daddy Griffey, as we like to refer. What was, the, what was the name we gave him? Daddy Griffey. 30% uh, you get Safeco Field. 40% you get a t uh, 10 bundle with a silver topper on it. They did show that, well, how do we do this, though? Mill, why are you showing us the rewards and not showing us how to do this? Well, don't talk to me. They're the ones that did it, right? There's more of the rewards. 25%. This is for the rookie. Uh, you get a question mark. Get Tampa Bay Stadium at 50%. 75% you get that Wade Boggs Impact Veteran. And at 100%, you get its question mark. I'm going to guess 100% is probably going to get you that Archer card. Um, but they didn't want to show that. So how do you do that? So here's what you have to do for the missions. Uh, for the rookie archer. So 25% you have to defeat archers Tampa Bay Rays twice versus CPU on rookie difficulty or higher. Again, these missions are going to have CPU and online. Um, that's part of the programs. Missions are going to be single player. Programs are going to be mixed. And I'll show you guys the rest of this real quick. So, okay, here's the, here's the mission, the Archer program. Defeat Tampa Bay twice on rookie difficulty or higher. You see all the way on the left there, it says play versus CPU. Archer's nine rookie wins. Again, you have to get nine wins with rookie series starting pitchers, which means they have to be flashbacks or legends. You have to have flashback uh, rookies or flashback legend starters. Again, it this is going to dictate when you're going to be able to do this. Are you going to be able to get a rookie flashback that early, especially a starting pitcher? And if you do, it's only going to be one. You can't select it versus CPU, so should be a little tougher. Um, now, here's where it comes really tough is because the next one down, it you see Archer's shutout, July 27th, 2013. So some of these challenges are going to be date-based. You see that uh, back on July 27th, 2013, Chris Archer through a complete game shutout. Well, what you have to do, and you see this little, uh, this, the two bats with the stars, that is ranked series only, which means you have to play ranked head-to-head -to, -head to do this. You have to throw a complete game shutout or surrender fewer than two hits. Now, you can do that with anybody. You can do that with absolutely anybody, but you have to do it against other users. What's cool is the or in there. You don't have to do two things. You have to do one or the other. And then the Tampa Bay Territory, again, it doesn't say stronghold. In Conquest, a territory just means you have to take one of Tampa Bay's territories. Um, con a stronghold is when you have to beat the entire thing. So pretty cool. And that will get you the Rookie Archer, which I think, again, is really awesome. Here is the Griffey mission again. You see that 70%, you'll get a 10-pack Bundy. 80% um, uh, question mark. 
90% is those beautiful Griffey cleats, the beautiful gr diamond Griffey cleats, with what looks like you might get a rookie Griffey inside of it. And at 100%, you get the 1997 hardware Griffey. Um, again, guys, it's not going to be easy. It, it, will, it absolutely will not be easy to get that. So keep moving on. They did not show us the Mystery Legend for good reason, obviously. This is, so you notice that I mentioned before, there are no captains anymore. There aren't. And there's what's called the ticket counter. You get tickets, tickets are one currency separate. Now, what's cool about this is, and I'm going to move for one second. Right here, you're going to see that little gold emblem, that, or I'm sorry, the bronze emblem that looks like what's up here. I'm hoping I'm pointing correctly. I think I am. Yeah, like up that way. Universal Profiles, instead of having six captains with 50 levels each, you now have four divisions in your profile. Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Diamond. Each one of those divisions has 100 levels in it. So you have bronze and that little clicker, the little ticker inside of there is for every 10. So you have to get to a hundred and you get bumped into silver. You bump, do another hundred levels, you get bumped into gold. You do another hundred levels, you get bumped into diamond. Again, and then you go to a hundred diamond. What you'll see on these, t on these cards here, you see what level you have to be in what division. So for this, uh, for this Al Albuquerque over here, you have to be a gold, but you have to be a level three gold. So you will have already leveled up 203 levels before you can get to this, before you can get to this, uh, Al Albuquerque for 85 tickets or for four tickets, you can get the Jonathan Aro 52 common. Again, these are going to change. Don't think you're going to have to worry about that. So <laughs> I'm very good at pointing guys. Um, so yeah, so again, a different way to doing this. What this is going to fix is the captain store of people saying, well, I didn't pick Josh Donaldson, so I can't get Carlos Beltran. I picked Anthony Rizzo and made and put him to 50, which I did. And then I picked out who's the Altuve and put him to 50. So now I have to grind to get the, uh, to Josh Donaldson. No, everybody is going to be on equal play on an equal playing field, depending on how much you play. And it's going to be throughout all modes. So I'm a franchise guy. If I play franchise, I will get the same amount of XP you guys get for the Diamond Dynasty. Again, but it's one XP bar instead of six different ones. You're not filling buckets now. You're filling one bucket to get these guys. So let's keep this moving on. I think that's really cool. That's a good change that will help everybody out in the long run. I do like that you can get a stadium at Common 22. And you see on here the no cells are back. You, these are also no cells, so you don't have to do that. The guy is okay. So in this example, the guy in level seventy four is a in for, level forty seven. Yeah, this guy right here. No, no, he's a he's a bronze right now. This guy right now is a forty seven bronze. You can see down behind me. It's going to show up right here. So right here is going to be your current uh your current profile color. Okay, and then up top, it'll do the same thing. So up top, it shows your current profile color and then it shows your level over a data way up that way. So um, if you wanted to get Mark Reynolds, you would have to be a, I think that's a silver. So you'd have to be a, you just have to get it into the silver tier and be level zero. Move that along. Again, you see some of the other ones, 66 silver for Hector Rondon. And all of these, you see the timers and all of these, all of these will be updating as you go. Again, yeah, and I see that in chat. A lot, a lot of people saying, can't wait to start grinding. You're not going to be bored this year because these are going to be continuously changing. And you have equal opportunity from everybody else in getting them. All right, another flashback we're going to see here. You're going to see Nelson Cruz, Breakout 2009 Nelson Cruz. Uh, wait for them to get into the ratings real quick. Show the ratings, Lance. Hit the triangle, Lance. There we go. So you see, awesome card art. Uh, I mean, Nelson Cruz getting a face, for, face full of dirt is amazing. Um, 66 contact, 50 contact. 97 power versus righties is monstrous. 
45 vision, again, there's your downfall. Um, a good guy to have against righties. 91 arm strength is amazing. He is a right fielder uh, with left fielder, so with left fielder secondary. Good reaction, 69 speed. Again, 64 fielding, not great, but the reaction's okay and the speed's okay, so a little underrated defensively. Uh, you might be able to throw him in right field. I, I don't know. It might be one of your first goals. might be good for you. But again, you're like, wait, wait a second. Oh, and that's Luis, by the way. Uh, you should see him jump in over there. He is live content. Well, one of the main guys with the rosters. Um, okay, we're gonna see this Braves already been. We already know about this Craig Kimbrell, but just to see his ratings, you see the fastball, knuckleball, or knuckle curve to Seamer. It's over nine. K over nine. Both ninety nine. Monster. Um, ninety four clutch. 96 velocity, 95 break. By the way, clutch, we did find out what clutch does for any of you that don't know. It actually raises all of your per nines as a pitcher when you have runners in scoring position. If you're a batter, clutch raises, gives you a bonus to all of your hitting stats when runners are in scoring position. Those are the only two times that it takes effect. It does not take effect on late innings. Um, good break, good arm strength. Uh, again, really awesome card, 99 overall diamond all-star from 2012 i think they said he had the best fip in uh in history so yeah knuckleball would be op aqua chat saying if he had a knuckleball he would be overpowered i agree so dodgers are going to a giants flashback the pablo sandoval that we heard about earlier everyone remembers that 2012 year for sandoval um anyone that's a giants fan or a west coast fan remembers the monster postseason he had 93 diamond. He's a third baseman with first base eligibility. No catcher eligibility. You're going to see that with Schwarber too. They're very specific this year. If you did not play catcher in the postseason, or if you did not play catcher or a, a specific position in the year that they picked for you, you will not have that eligibility on this card. Um, so 94 contact versus righties, 83 versus lefties, 96 power, 67, 84 vision, really good there. Again, I'm going to tell you again and again, I think the vision is going to be the meta this year. Uh, he said, the, yes, Nixie and Chad says he said the per nines will matter. The per nines absolutely will matter this year, especially with ball physics. We don't know about home runs over nine yet. As soon as we know a definitive answer on that, we will get that to you. Uh, uh, the fielding, arm strength. Arm accuracy, all okay. Um, good for third base. Probably be a really good first baseman for you uh, if you're looking to put him somewhere early on. Who was next? I think they had another one, right? Another one after this? Uh, they did show off. I think they showed off the pence, the 91 pence that I think we saw already, but that being said, ah, well, hello there. Um, you see here the new overall system. Now, there's this twofold, and a lot of us speculated on this correctly. A 90 to 99 is going to be a diamond. 85 to 89 is going to be a gold. 80 to 84 silver. 70 to 79 bronze. 0 to 69 common. Two things you need to remember with this. First of all, they are not changing pack odds whatsoever. So this is going to result in some more diamonds in the economy. You had a percentage of getting a diamond before. Well, there's going to be more diamonds. But here comes the other point of this. They're changing the way overalls are calculated. They don't ever tell us how that is, but they're changing how it's done. So you're going to see guys that were diamonds last year or 90 91s that are going to be 87 88 this year a perfect example is that rizzo card people are saying why is he in 88 89 when he ended last year with 93 the way they calculate overalls has completely changed do not i'm going to say this and i'm hoping everyone here is listening do not look at overall ratings please your goal is to look at individual ratings and how they go to your team. How can they help you out on every individual ratings? Overall ratings are there for one reason and one reason alone, to market the player. This player is a 93. We have to put him somewhere. Overall ratings don't mean anything. Look at the stats, people. Be smarter. Be better. Be better sports gamers. Overall rating means nothing for you guys, except 
quick sell amount. If you're going to quick sell one of them, how, how much price it is. All right, let's move on from that. They did talk about how that they, they're not giving away the formula guys um, yet. If they're going to, they haven't, they talked about it. They talked to that. It's going to be different. So we'll see here. Um, they went over the top three at each boom. <laughs> The top three Rich Hills in the game. So there was a lot of problem when they showed off 97 Rich Hill. We tried to tell everyone 97 Rich Hill is not real. It's going to be, they're going to adjust ratings, guys. They're going to adjust ratings. Don't give it any, but no, no, everyone. 97 Rich Hill. I mean, we saw, we saw your Twitter avatars, Aqua. We know you troll game, guys. So they did this. They trolled us. 99 Rich Hill, 97 Rich Hill, but the real one. The real one is the 86 over here, guys. That's what Rich Hill's going to be when you start the game. These other two are fake. Uh, this, not, this 86 over here is where you're going to go. So let's keep moving on here, boys. Uh, the top three relief pitchers, not specific to closing pitchers, because to be honest, guys, you don't really worry about closing pitcher or relief pitcher in Diamond Dynasty. Um, it's more of a franchise mode role. So you see this uh, Andrew Miller. 99 hit over 9, 99 K over 9. Um, you see this 95 Kenley Jansen. They talked about his cutter. I mean, we know that his cutter is absolutely deadly. And then, in the comments, give me your best Zach Britton joke for the Orioles fan, guys. So if you're in YouTube right now, go ahead. Give me your best Zach Britton still in the bullpen joke. That is your challenge for this episode. But yeah, Britain, you see that is a 92. Uh, Twitch, during the live stream, a lot of people said he should be higher. Well, again, you're getting new overall rating calculations. That's why he's a 92. Plus, Zach Britton has done this for two years. Always remember, these ratings are based on a three-year weighted cycle. You get heavier, um, heavier ratings boost from being good last year, but they also take into account 2015, and 2014 as well. If Britain continues to do this, Luis said we're going to see him start to rise further and further as those stats walk out. Keep moving here. Oh, guys, if you could see, I'm not going to give you YouTubers the, the advantage of seeing what Twitch chat is doing, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, guys. Twitch chat's roasting Zach Britton right now and me. You YouTubers have a have a big shoes to fill to make Zach Britton jokes. Let's keep moving. Uh, we have the top three outfielders. Obviously, Trout is going to be at the top of this list, but Mookie Betts a ninety three, and Yoannis. I, I saw you. I saw you in the comments last time. Yoannis Cespedes at a ninety. The big news out of this, again, the overall ratings are lower than they were before. These are the top three outfielders out of all all outfield positions. So you're going to tell me the second best outfielder in the game, live series, is a 93. Remember, overall ratings don't matter. Look at these 87, 83, 73, 77, 86 vision, 85 fielding, 71 arm, 63. This is amazing, guys. This is awesome right here. Let's keep this moving on. I think they go to infielders next, which is another painful subject for me. Um, Jose Altuve, far and away the highest rated um, infielder because of the position he plays. Second base, you get a higher overall rating. If he continues to show power, that rating will actually go up, and he might hit 99 this year. Uh, Chris Bryant, third base. He's going to have some other eligibility, I believe, because he did play some outfield last year. Uh, but you're going to see that 76-82 contact, 85-92 power, 49 vision needs to come up a little bit um, for him to be just to, to get to that next level of diamond. But decent fielding, good speed. Um, and then Josh Donaldson, they made direct mention that Josh Donaldson, Nolan Arenado, and Manny Machado all were right around the same spot. Donaldson's going to get there for this one um, with the 80 power, 93 power, or 80 93 power, um, and good fielding and arm. But rest assured, they did mention on the on the stream. Machado and Arenado right there. So uh, let's keep going. I think that was okay. The top three starting pitchers. I mean, Clayton Kershaw, far and away right now. I don't think anyone's going to question that. But you see Max Scherzer up here again. 
93 is the second best pitcher in the starting pitcher in the game right now for live series. Those overall ratings, guys, you're going to have to really do your research when you're looking for players this year. Not just go, hey, give me all three of the 93s. Because all three of those 93s are going to be three completely different pitchers. And then new Red Sox Chris Sale over there. Uh, again, pretty awesome. They, they're giving us these top threes for live series. Um, card art looks the same as last year. Doesn't look like we're getting a lot of those. Although they did update some of them last year during the season. Might get some more of those as the season goes on. All right, they're going to show us another legend, it looks like. See that Hunter Pence, 91 impact veteran from 2013. Mashes lefties, good vision. Uh, good fielding, excellent arm strength, excellent reaction, really good speed. Um, looks like one of those platoon players you can use. Uh, if you're looking to have maybe a salary, maybe one of those caps, um, for events, uh, 91 overall could just, anytime you see a lefty in there, which again, you just saw, they mentioned it directly in stream as well. Kershaw and Sale, two of the top pitchers in the starting pitchers, uh, Britton and Miller, all lefties, all top. You don't have to start looking at these guys that can hit lefties, too. So be ready for that. Be ready to start platooning correctly. See that Hunter Pence, new card art. I like it. See who they go to next. Uh, athletics, third baseman. I wonder who this could be. Uh, it's going to be 88 All-Star 2014 Josh Donaldson. Um, you can see the hitting, the power was there versus lefties. Um, was not great hitting that year against righties. Um, he did ma he made his made his money off lefties that year. Really good fielder though, still uh, uh, on the upper the upper above average fielding for this card. 88 gold again hits lefties really well. Um, 62 vision is above average, not great. So again, just another card you can use in that gold tier, which is now as we said 85 to 89. Um, don't know how you're going to be able to get it. It's already in the game, obviously, so maybe that's going to be one of the rewards. That's another thing, too, is a lot of these flashbacks, I'm wondering if these could be rewards. So who was next? Oh, the postseason Kyle Schwarber. Three words describe this card. Oh. My. God. Uh, everyone remembers 2015. Kyle Schwarber mashed any kind of right-handed pitcher that came at him. 94 contact versus righties. 99 power versus righties. Um, so 84 power versus lefties. 34 vision. You guys have to use that PCI. I keep saying that, but you better learn how to use that PCI real well. Because uh, directional hitting this year, guess what? Ball physics are going to... You guys use directional hitting in Diamond Dynasty? You know who you are. Ball physics are coming for you this year. Um, but 99 clutch... Here's the where the problem comes in. You see this over here? You see these green bars over here? Don't look at these green bars. These green bars are going to hurt you because he's a left fielder. He's a right fielder. He ain't no catcher. You're not going to hide him back there. You're going to have to find a place for him in the field. And with the new out of position issues that are going to be caused with the new way out of position is handled, good luck. He, he will mash you. He will mash you all day. And then he will drop every fly ball you have. So just get ready. All right, that was the Schwarber. What else were they doing here? Uh, this is the Hanley Ramirez. I want you to see this real quick. Take very good note of Hanley Ramirez. 94, 95, 94, 99, 75 vision. Probably one of the better hitting shortstop. I'm going to say it. He's going to be the best hitting shortstop when the game comes out. Uh, Corey Seager might be close, but all those 90s. Uh, and then, but again, at shortstop, do you really want to take the chance of 68, 68, 69, 69 for your fielding? Not this year. Not with the emphasis they put on fielding this year. Um, and he doesn't have first base eligibility. I would worry. Third base? Maybe. But again, what about when the good bunners come up? Are you going to trust a 69 reaction to those good bunners? I don't know. I don't know that I could do that. I, I, I'm i starting to worry. I think defense is going to be much greater this year than last year. I think you're going to notice the defensive ratings 
are going to come into play more often. Is this going to be good? Yes. Is this going to be end game? There's not one player that's going to have Hanley Ramirez at shortstop or third base by the time uh, like the next best shortstop comes out. So, well, no. If they fix Aquas, is they fix bunting, we're not going to have to worry. No, because if they fix bunting, then the good bunters are going to be able to bunt, and you're not going to be able to call them bunt cheesers. If I bring out Robbie Alomar and you've got Hanley Ramirez at third base, kid, it is on. I am taking you to town with Robbie Alomar. Um. Because you know what? If they fix bunting, what I'm going to say to you is I'm going to say, hey, look, they fix bunting. I'm not a bunt cheeser anymore. Robbie Alomar, all day. All day. So, uh, here we go, boys. So let's keep moving. So that was the Ramirez. The hot zones look really good, too. Um, this is the new. So you're seeing what they're showing here is the inside edge. You notice inside edge is not across all of the hitting this year. Um, it is only specific to the handedness of the pitcher they're facing. So if Kipnis, in this example, you'll see he's, he's facing Jake Arietta. You only get the boost to right-handed this year. Perfect. That's what inside edge should have been the whole time. Um, and you're going to see they're going to flip over here for a second and show you more inside edge again on the, on the player card. We saw this before with the Rizzo. You see every advantage that Jason Kipnis has here. It shows you the stats. I, I saw somebody in I, I saw somebody in uh, the chat in the live stream chat say this. You could use this info for your fantasy lineup that night. You could literally say, "All right, I got to set my fantasy lineup. Let me go into the show and see what Inside Edge is doing." Um, head to head, a couple of things you want to look at here that they pointed out: uh, Kipnis versus top tier bullpens. So that number will be very specific to, um, you remember, again, they, they talked about Chapman being with the Cubs bullpen. That's why it's top tier last year. Um, Ari had a good, great outings in the last four starts. They measure those. How hot is the player? Uh, Kipnis, great day percentage of games played. How many days has he outperformed himself? That's what that means. And this last one, volatility. So the volatility rating is how often does he have a bad game or how often does he not play up to his stats or how often does he play above his stats? Um, that's volatility rating, something they use in fantasy, uh, fantasy research. They've used it for years. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Again, maybe, maybe even for your fantasy team. Um, I love it. I love adding all this extra data. And you see this again on the card art by the stars. Right above my head here, the uh, five stars. He's, he's in a five-star advantage. Three stars even. One star is a uh, dis uh, complete disadvantage. They also said you're not going to see as many five-star advantages this year, um, especially with some of the top players due to their volatility. It, you got to have a good volatility rating to get to that five-star advantage, right? Well, if somebody is always consistent, consistently good, it's that much harder for them to get that five-star advantage. Keep moving. I think we're almost to the end here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're showing. Okay, I want to show you that real quick, that, that screen they just kind of flipped over. Right there. Uh, oh, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me again. Give me one more. Give me one more. This is new. Um, like we saw on the back of the card, gainers and losers. This is, again, something they show on their site. Um, and Daddy League shows it. The market's biggest gainers and losers. Uh, again, you can see what card is hot, what card is falling off. You know, maybe they release a... Rookie Scherzer that gets you to live Scherzer, so the live Scherzer cost would go down. You'd see that in this community, in this uh, market losers. So very cool there. Um, this is showing create a player is back in Diamond Dynasty. This is the squad matchup screen. You are going to be able to use a created player again in Diamond Dynasty for better or worse. Their schedule, but wait, their schedule, that means it's over, right, Mill? No, they showed this. I bring to you the 99 MVP Griffey, ratings galore, uh, 95, 70 for contact, 99, 96 power. People are saying, well, the Hanley looks better. Until you get over to that green, boys, that green's no joke. Uh, 92 arm strength, 95 fielding, 82 arm accuracy, 90 reaction, and 80 speed. For a center fielder with 97 clutch and 71 vision, I take this 
over the Hanley every day of the week, twice on Sundays. Uh, but that will do it for us, guys. Uh, just double check the notes real quick, of which I have way too many. But in summary, that was the complete Diamond Dynasty. Obviously, there's going to be more surprises as we go. But thank you guys for stopping by. Just remember, the archive for the San Diego Twitch is going to be in the description. If you want to go back and watch it in full, um, it's actually going to be two links because it got cut up as you saw. Um, we are going to have this up in our Twitch archives as well as our YouTube if you're watching there. So go ahead and give it a like if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Tell us what's wrong. And in the comments, don't forget Zach Britton Fire. I want to see it, boys and girls. Uh, so until next time, Operation Sports, dedicated to sports gaming. We'll see you guys later.